I was coming to give Terry a gift and he has an exclamation mark. So let's see what that's about. Ah, perfect timing. Here, take this. So he just gave us something. Uh, Scarlet did that earlier before. So that's nice. It's Beatri Beatrice's birthday, so we'll just talk to her and give her a present. How do you do? Happy birthday, Beatrice. Thank you, Alice. What are you? What were your birthdays like growing up? Well, my party would last three whole days. Oh my god. Well, uh, this year must feel lacking in comparison. Not at all. I've received so many birthday wishes from the townsfolk. Today's birthday feels much more satisfying than one that might last for days on end. I agree. Like, it's very stressful. Here you go. You made this the best birthday ever. Thank you very much. She's so cute. My stars! Alright, that's all I wanted to show. Alright, there is something at the end. I hope it's the reno renovation so we can go ask our precious owl, Priscilla. Unless this is going to last for multiple days. Oh. Hi Alice, how lovely to see you. I was hoping we would cross paths. If you do not mind, I'd like to ask your opinion on something. Sure, what is it? Do you recall how we plan to renovate our bass? And as it stands, we're finding it difficult to come up with any ideas. But you happen to have any feedback to offer, we'd be grateful if you gave it some thought. Yes, of Sure thing, I'd be glad to help. Now let's see, you said you want to change, right? What made you decide on that? Bass are lovely, yes, but they're the same old thing every day. Wouldn't that grow dull? I thought our guests might enjoy it if we got a little creative and offer some amusing flourishes. Ah, I see. Hmm, what kinds of things would guests like in their baths? Maybe you could try... Flower petals? Let's do flower petals! How about floating flower petals in the bath water? Mm -hmm. Flower petals? Hmm. Yeah, yes. they look really pretty for one. Which will add a dash of color to things. There are flowers with soothing fragrances too. Overall, don't you think that'll help your guests relax and unwind even more? Very true. We have several guests who visit us looking for stress relief. That sounds like a lovely idea. Really? Thank you. Yes, I knew discussing the matter with you was the correct choice. Alice, thank you. I will create a proper plan for it right away. Don't tell me I have to wait another day. No. That's the wrong button. No! Can I please just ask Priscilla out? Alright, we harvested enough of grapes. Wow, you harvested 50 grapes? That's no small fee, but I knew you could do it. If that's made you want to grow even more stuff, then you're in luck. The shops have started selling new seeds. Why don't you see what they have in stock now? Pretty sure it's just grape seeds, right? We don't want to do this yet, so we won't. We can't technically do this because we don't have turnip heaven. I mean, I'll take it. I just heard about a legendary turnip dish called turnip heaven. I have a feeling that you could cook this mythical cuisine. So I want you to ship some turnip heaven for me. Though it does seem like you'll need a golden turnip to get the job done. I feel bad making you go to this much effort for one dish, so while I can't tell you how to get it, how I got it, I did manage to find a certain seed for you. I assume you know what to do next. Oh! Okay, so he just gives us the stuff. See, this gives me the recipe for it. But I guess we do need to start growing it? Yeah, we're making good progress on the apples. Um, I don't know where the autumn grass is, but we're growing it, I'm pretty sure. It seems like the end has another activity. Let's see if it will finish up this so we can ask uh, Priscilla out. I would love to finish this up. <gasps> oh, it's pretty, they actually did it. Oh, heck yeah, girl time. <laughs> These flowers are simply adorable. Yeah, yeah, they smell nice. It's so soothing. I'm digging this Pretty new bath. Cute. Heck yeah, it was a hit. Looks like everybody likes the revenation, so you decided to go with a really inviting tub scattered with flower petals? Yes, your input was a huge help, Alice. It was only a little change, but it helped our guests enjoy themselves immensely. I wonder if we were uh, Ares, the guy protagonist. We would be talking to Morokumo, and it would be three guys instead in the boy bath. That's cool. 
I didn't do much. All I did was throw out a few ideas. You're the one who made it happen, Misasagi. No, no, I could never create so uh, wonderful a bath all on my own. Ah, uh, I know, Alice. How would you like to try the new bath free of charge? Is Ooh. that okay? Can I? I was just thinking I'd love to give it a shot. Be Very my well. guest. In return, <laughs> I hope you'll help me again in the future should I need your advice. Would love to. But we don't actually get to try it. But that means... That means... We don't have... Yes. Okay, let me give Morokumo his, uh... Skipjack. And we'll go ask Precious out. Our little Precious. Yes, this yes, is, thank you, thank this. you, thank you. Where is Priscilla? She's probably at the bakery. So let's go ask her out so tomorrow we can start her dates again. Officially get back on track with this. I don't mind the town events, but I wish you could do both the date and town events at the same time. Like they were separate things. Dearest. Look at her, she's so cute. I came to chat. Yeah, yeah. I came to ask you to go on a date with me. Another date? Yes. Now, um, don't worry about, don't you worry. This time, I'll get it right for sure. Wow, you sure are excited. Want to meet at 10 a.m. in front of the restaurant tomorrow? Okay. Yes. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh. All right, we're back on track, boys. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we have finished up another request. Um, at the board. It was the autumn grass, I believe, and I kind of want to see what uh, we're going to get. Well, I can't really tell. We're getting grass seeds, apparently. Um, we're get ha almost halfway there to the apple harvest. I don't know what other veggies I need to harvest. I planted every single one from the store, but we'll see. I knew that growing autumn grass would be a walk in the park for someone like you. Oh, did you know that the shops have new seeds in stock now? You should swing by and see what they are. Uh, sure. We also can't forget our date with uh, Priscilla. What else is new? Is there something else come on here? Harvest a blue crystal flower. Okay. Have you ever heard of something called the blue crystal flower? It's very rare and absolutely gorgeous. They aren't easy to grow, but I still love to see one. So please harvest one for me. Good luck. I know you can do it. Of course, Priscilla. We'll take care of that. We're going to go to her date soon. All right. We can do a uh, Priscilla's heart event. I'm going to give her a chocolate cake real quick. Oh, off to work. Have fun. Yes, I remember. I'm just saying hi to you. You're just so cute in your little outfit. All right. Let's go actually meet her at the restaurant. Ooh, I'm so excited to see what we do. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Sorry to keep you. Hey, precious. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Dearest? Not at all, dearest. Okay, Ready let's to get go? going. Yeah. Yeah. I made sure to get <laughs> lots of sleep last night. Today, I'm confident I can go anywhere and do anything. Awesome. Oh, we're just walking. Oh, no. Is everyone going to embarrass us? My, my. Well, aren't you two such y sweet young lovebirds? Watching you brings back memories of when we were your age, way back in our heyday. <laughs> that it does. But you know, you need to get it a little closer to your sweetheart if you want that romantic mood. Give it a shot, Priscilla dear. Oh my god. People are like mansplaining our date. Uh, uh, thanks, I will. Whoa, that's a pretty bold, precious. So now we're walking closer together. Now we're sitting together. <laughs> wow, you Whoa. packed an amazing lunch and it's so colorful. I feel hungry, you're just looking at it. <laughs> Go on and dig in, I made plenty. Awesome, we got a cute lunch. Oh God, these two. Oh, Riker, don't look, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the heck? He's supportive! He's like, yeah! <laughs> you know, that's all polyamory is. Being chill and okay with it and communicated with it and supportive. <laughs> Someone knows the shortcut to a gal's heart. Go get him, girl. 
Public displays of indecency will not be tolerated, but I won't need to worry about that. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. I bet Priscilla's plan to seal the deal with the ultimate finisher. Say, ah, while she feeds her? That huh? makes me so ju- I mean, oh, don't worry, Scarlet. You'll get your time. Do not worry. I mean, that's bordering on an inappropriate. Ah! Can y'all just leave us alone? Yes. Um, say, ah, uh, she's taking the advice. Dang! Uh, yeah, this is actually kind of embarrassing with them watching us. Hey, do you two mind not? Ah! Do you, do you like it? Y yeah. Uh huh. Hell yeah! Way to go, Priscilla. <laughs> this is ten times funnier because we dated Riker first. This is ten times funnier. I love it. Thank you, Riker. I know I've had my fill. Thanks. Jeez. Don't worry, Scarlet. You'll get your time. That's our date. Are we about to do something else? Alright, we're walk- Oh god, Lucy. The worst person we could have stumbled upon. Hey Priscilla, welcome back! So how was that date you were so excited about? Um, I'm standing right here. I am- I had a ton of fun. Cool, and you Alice? I had a ton of fun too. <sighs> Thank goodness. But it was kind of hard to relax with half the town watching us. Even after lunch, people kept coming up and wishing us luck. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, that's no big surprise. Priscilla did go around town yesterday asking everybody for advice. Oh, my God. No wonder they all came to check on us. Um, no, that's not what it was. I wasn't asking for advice. I was letting them know I couldn't help them out with anything today. So you could be totally ready for your date. Yes. Right. Everyone saw you were so determined to make this go off without a hitch. It's no wonder they wanted to give you a pointer or two. Wow, you actually took a break from helping other people? You really went all out for me, didn't you? Normally it's the other way around, but in this case, the whole town wanted a chance to help her. I really appreciate Thanks. that, Precious. It's no. okay, I don't mind. I wanted to do it. But if you do start going on dates every single day, everyone else is going to be left without a helper. D don't worry. Starting, Starting with, next, with time. next time, I'm going to help everybody and go on dates without messing either up. Oh, Priscilla... I kind of figured you'd say that. Just don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, steady. Well, that was cute. And obviously we can't ask her out yet. But we'll ask her out tomorrow. I love that. And also the time has went. We spent literally the whole day together. That's okay. Alright, on to the next day. I almost forgot. Today's Hina's birthday. Today's my birthday. Do I look more responsible now? Yeah, you're growing up right before my eyes. You are, and here's a fruit smoothie just for you. Awesome, birthday present done. All right, today is actually Julian's birthday, and while I have him here, we also have an event at the restaurant, but first, Julian. Hello, Julian. Today's my birthday. That's all you gotta say? Okay. <laughs> I made him an omelet for his birthday. This is the best present ever! Hey, did you make this yourself? That's awesome. Okay, he didn't have a lot to say, but let's do the restaurant event while we're here. <laughs> Apparently, Elja has given me reign of the restaurant for a day. I don't know how this came about. Me winning the contest? Whoa. Got some good view there, Fuka. Alice, help me out here. I have a big problem. What's wrong, Fuka? Elsha says she won't work. Of course she won't. Won't work like at all? Hey, Elsha, what's going on? I'm so tired. If my restaurant is open, I have to work. So I'm going to close it. Good night. Elsha? Elsha. She's been saying that all day. Elsha, you really shouldn't do this. So many people are looking forward to eating at your restaurant today. Uh -huh. Then you can be the chef, Alice. I hereby put you in charge of my restaurant. Hold on. I don't know the first thing about running a restaurant. Oh, You're I'm fine. sure you'll do just fine. Fuka's here, after all. Yeah! Huh? Uh, what? You don't see a problem with this, Fuka? Problem? <laughs> Great, mm. that settles it. You start tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow? <laughs> wait, Elsha, wait! I never said yes! Damn it. I have to do another event. I can't ask <laughs> Priscilla out. 
Oh, jeez, what have I gotten myself into? Uh, well, I give up. I'll help you tomorrow. Bro! Well, I mean, at least this is in line with Priscilla's dates because this is her sister. But also, I just want to do Priscilla's dates. I guess I could stop the events. Alright, well, I guess we'll do that tomorrow. I guess nothing else is happening. And I woke up with that event. It's not like it triggered, like, hours after I woke up. It, like, it triggered as soon as I woke up. I went to go look to make sure, and it said, yeah, there was that already. So I don't know how I like that system. I wish it would only trigger if we go to the event place itself. Not just immediately when you wake up. You don't have a choice in it. You have to do it if you want to do something else. Event-wise, at least. But, um, we'll do it till tomorrow to do it, then. All right. The restaurant event is going on. I hope it concludes today. I do not want to wait another whole day to ask Priscilla out. I am irritated by how the system works. <sighs> but let's go enjoy taking care of the restaurant for Elja. Being in charge of this restaurant that we have no qualifications for. I know Elja said I was in charge of, the, of her restaurant today, but she couldn't possibly have been serious, right? Right? Um. Hi, Alice! Good, Good morning. Good morning, Fukusa. Where's Elja? She said you're in charge, Alice. Starting today, you're the new head chef. Uh, so she meant every word. Not exactly how I plan to spend my day, but now I'm stuck. I guess I better do the best job I can. Okay, um, I think we should prep the ingredients and stuff first. Can you show me how to do that, Fuka? Yeah, leave it to yeah. me. Bro, I mean, like, what are we doing? Is it gonna take my whole day away? Not that it matters, but... <sighs> Fuka showed me the ropes, so I managed to make do, but it's almost noon, the lunch rush is coming, I don't know if I can handle so many customers at once. <laughs> Hello. And also, aren't they expecting Elja's cooking? Hello! Welcome! Welcome! W welcome! What do you want to order? Mm, I think I'll have the almond rice. Okay, one almond rice. Coming right up! Uh, the recipe for almond rice is... One orange juice, too. Ah, slow down! Yikes. I bet it is chaotic. That tasted wonderful, if a little different than usual. Oh, well, variety is the spice of life. I'm so sorry about sorry that, ma'am. Thank you for coming. We hope to see you again. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Elja needs to come back ASAP. I'm not doing this tomorrow. <laughs> we made it to the end of the day and the restaurant's still standing. Hello. Customers looked happy, too. Yeah, yeah I nearly panicked a couple times, but you really helped me out. Thanks, Fuka. <laughs> Still, I really hope that Elja comes back soon. I'm following her recipes exactly as they're written, but I just can't make them taste the same. <laughs> Another customer? Welcome, huh? Precious? <gasps> I'm trying to ask her out. Elja's sister's cock blocking me. <laughs> <laughs> or Elja's cock blocking Pr Priscilla's sisters. Dearest, why are you here? Uh, El Elja asked me to run the restaurant for her today. What? Ooh. Oh my gosh, Elja. She's been here the entire time. <sighs> Good work, Alice. Uh, there you are, Elsha. Oh, uh, hi, Priscilla. Did you stop by to eat something? Dearest. Elsa, is it truly me, dearest, to your job today? Uh, sure it is. How'd you like running my restaurant, Alice? Uh, well, to be honest, <laughs> it was seriously stressful. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. It was the most stressful experience of my life. It felt like there were a million customers to feed and a billion things to do. I felt so lost. Hmm. And the customers didn't like the food as much either. Yeah. yeah, it really drove home what an incredible chef you are, Elja. Running a restaurant isn't just about cooking food for people. As the head chef, you get to share in everyone's joy as they eat their meals. I wish that you could have enjoyed my food more. Today made me painfully aware of just how much I need, I need to improve as a cook. Alice, knowing yourself is very important. Not many people engage in that kind of self-reflection. <laughs> Thanks for helping Elja today, dearest. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do much better tomorrow. I'll see you first thing in the morning. No! Uh, no, I'm not doing that again. Aw, uh, and here I think I take tomorrow off too, rats. Yeah, definitely not. Although I guess doing that once in a while couldn't hurt. No! Not while I'm trying to date people. I'm done. Are we good? Can I go ask Priscilla out? Yes, I can. Oh my god, where is she? At work? <gasps> she's not at work, where is she? Oh, she's here. 
Everyone's here. Wait. I saw pink and I went over there. There you are. Long day, huh? <laughs> when I think about you first, my pulse rushes, races, then I get butterflies in my stomach, then my whole chest feels tight. Being in love sure gives you heart, a, your heart a good workout. <laughs> hey, let's go on a date. A date, huh? Hmm. Oh, is this a bad time? No, no, it's fine. I'm super glad you asked. I was just thinking about where we should meet up. Okay, well, you don't need to think about it too hard. We can just meet up where we always do. Uh, yeah, but... Yes. Hey, dears, can I make a special request? Of course, what is it? This time, I'd rather not meet up in town. Can we meet in the Whispering Woods instead, at the place where we went hunting for mushrooms? Huh? If we meet there, you have to leave town all by yourself. Yes. Yeah, I know, but I want to do it. Knowing you're there waiting for me, that should be enough. It'll give me the courage to make it on my own, I think. All right, because she has a whole thing about not wanting to... She's scared to leave town. If that's what you want, that's what we'll do. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, wait for me tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the Whispering Woods. I'll see you there. Awesome. This will... Everyone's eating here today. That's nice. So this will be... Oh, God, it did take my whole fucking day. Um, that's fine. I just need to go to Morokumo. But yeah, our last date with Priscilla tomorrow... Alright, we're gonna go to the Whispering Woods. I'm not really- I don't remember where we were picking mushrooms with her, but let's just start with the entrance and see from there. Oh. Oh, I didn't even go in yet. <laughs> All right, just right at the entrance. Precious still isn't here yet. I have to hmm. wonder if this was really a good idea. No, there's no point in second guessing it now. I just have to put faith in her and wait. Uh oh, did she even make it? Did she even make it? She's still not here. Maybe in the end she couldn't find the courage to set foot outside of town. Or did she make it out only to freeze up halfway here? Oh what jeez, what to do? do? Should I head back and look for her? Oh, she's just right there, bro. Oh, she's just standing. She made it. Precious. In her cute little outfit. Thank goodness Thank you're- goodness. Thank goodness you're alright. Uh, I am- sorry. I'm sorry I made you worry. It was really, really hard to take that first step out of town. Okay, good. These are both, like, encouraging. So, good. I, ho I, was, I was worried one would be, like, a bad option. Like, you're like, oh, ugh, well, you made me wait here. Why would you say that? You did well, Priscilla. Really well. Uh, so thanks. Thanks to you, I found my courage. That's what girlfriends are for, Precious. Well, well it's more than that. It's I more than that. Oh, she's talking. I've wanted to change for such a long time. Oh, shit. But it was so hard. And I'd get so scared, I never could. I hated myself for being a coward. But then you came, and you said that you love me just the way I am. After that, I couldn't help but think. You showed that you cared so much for me even though I was a coward. Hating myself got harder and the urge to make a change grew stronger. And look at me now, I made it out of Rickbarth on my own. I finally found a little bit of bravery inside of me. For the first time, I kind of like myself. Thank you. Thanks, dearest. Thank you for loving me. Oh my god. And, and thank you for giving me courage. She's so precious. <laughs> You're welcome, precious. <laughs> wow, I really do feel better when I'm with you, dearest. Hey! What? Can y'all not? No pushing? Yeah. Riker! <laughs> These two fuckers! <laughs> what the heck? Whoa. Butterfly? Oh my god, it's so funny. We're on a date with Precious. But we still call our other romance option by their nickname. That's so funny. 
Butterfly? Lucy? What were you two hiding over there for? Hey, don't get the wrong idea, okay? It's not like there's only two of us. Yeah, see? Is the whole town here? What the fuck? Why is the whole town here? Don't tell me you all snuck after Precious. We're sorry. We were just really worried about her. Jeez. Mm. Well, thanks, you guys. <laughs> yeah, okay then. This sounds like a cause for celebration to me. Let's say we whip up a little something to commemorate the occasion. Hey, now you're yeah. talking my language. Count me in. <laughs> How about I give everyone a loaf of freshly baked bread? I like that idea. Allow me to take the liberty of preparing some festive wrapping paper. We have the powerful po poignant and sweetly sentimental decorations to me. I'll deliver the loaves to everyone when they're ready. Elja, you can lend me a hand. Ah, oh, what a drag. Don't whine. Come on, come on and help. Yeah, be gone. <laughs> well, um, this sure turned into a big production. It's a sign of just how important you are to everyone, Precious. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, time for me to chip in as well. Uh, Lucy, wait, let me help you with that. But, Precious, pre our, our date! Our date! Well, that's our date. Um, I guess we'll just wait for tomorrow. Uh, we have no more dates with her, so we'll just wait for some next event to happen. All right, I think we finished a request. Yes, amazing, you harvest them all. Uh, the shops sell golden seeds now too, so many sparklies for sale. So we, we harvest, the last thing I was missing was a uh, hot, hot fruit, hot, hot whatever. That's what I was missing, so I'm glad we got that settled. Um, it seems like we're finishing up a lot of the quests. I'm gonna start focusing on people that are under 50% 9 hearts. Um, I still wanna try to get everyone to 10 hearts, but we'll see. Um, but first, we have our first Priscilla event after us, after our three dates. Let's see what this is about. Oh! Hey, Lily Bunny, have you seen a balloon anywhere? With a letter attached? Oh, come on, why bother? <sighs> Ask all you want, nobody's seen nothing. Or anything. <laughs> really? They say they saw it. What are, what are you asking, a bug? For real? The river east of town swept it into the cave. The cave? Where the river flows? Thanks. Got it. Thanks, Fuka. I'm going to see if it's still there. Hey, hold on a sec. I'm coming with you. No, no, that's okay. I'll be fine on my own. Jeez, look who's bursting with courage now. I'm starting to think you took that pep talk from Alice a little too seriously. Hey, let her have her independence. I think it's good that she's doing stuff on her own. Um, hey, what's going on here? Speak of the devil. You better take responsibility for what you've done and bring Priscilla back. It's not that serious. I still have no idea what's going on. Will somebody explain, please? Priscilla went to find the person who saved her. She's looking for a balloon with a letter. Whoa, so she went to the cave all alone? No wonder Lucy was worried out of her mind. What cave? What cave? Oh, way over there? Oh, okay. Um, I guess we'll run over. I don't want to waste any time with this. I'm surprised we're getting more than one thing a day so far, but we shall see. Oh, is it on the other side? Fuck. <laughs> of course it is. Excuse me, bugs. Priscilla, are you here? Precious? Hello? I had to get real deep in here. <gasps> Precious, what's up? A balloon. You found it? Yeah, yeah but not the balloon I was hoping not for. Not the balloon I was hoping for. Oh. It doesn't have a reply. It's the same balloon I sent up a long time ago. I had no idea it landed so close to home. Sorry, Precious. Well, that face. I'm not going to give up, though. 
I've grown. I'm not a coward who can't do things for herself anymore. I'm gonna find the person who saved me and say thank you. Wow, she looks really fired up. But little does she know we're that person. But this was your last clue. How are you gonna find them now? Simone and Granny Yuki were there, but they never told me anything about what happened, no matter how much I've asked. I think I'll write a letter to my parents next and ask them what they know. And if that doesn't work... No. I'm not gonna think about that now. See, See you, you later. See you later, dear. some letters to write. Okay. You do that then. Oh. Do we have another event? Or are we waiting the next day now? I think we might be waiting the next day, but that's perfectly fine! Awesome, we started her stuff! Alright, we uh, did another quest. We harvested 50 apples. So you harvested 50 apples and your mission's complete. You should go check out the shop soon, by the way. I heard they got some new seeds in stock. It's apple seeds. And we have nothing else, really. Just the daily island and prepare for marriage, which I don't want to accept yet. I want to wait. It doesn't seem like there's a Priscilla event yet, but I will spend the day like waiting to see if something happens. Um, otherwise, we will wait another day. Alright, we do have an event on the bridge. It's been two days. So let's see what happens. Convinci or, coincidentally enough, Priscilla was also there. <laughs> no way, not in a million years! What's happening now? I'll be fine. I went to the forest by myself, didn't I? And the mountains too! There's a big difference between stepping into the local woods and hiking all the way to the capital. Oh. Wait a sec. Whoa, well, easy. Calm down, both of you. Hey, Alice, back me up on this. Going all the way to the capital to see your mom and dad by yourself, it's too much too soon. You're going to visit your parents? Yes. Yeah, I haven't received a response to my yet letter yet. They must be really busy with the store, too busy to write, so I'm going to talk to them directly. I totally get why you want to do that, and it's fine, but nobody says you have to go alone. If you don't want me tagging, I'll at least, taste, at least take Alice. No, I have to go alone, otherwise it won't mean anything. How the heck would it mean anything? You're not making any sense. Jeez. You're the one who isn't even trying to understand. Uh-oh. Every time I try to do something on my own, you always say no, that it's too dangerous or I'm not ready. I well, mean... yeah, I'm worried about your safety. Then stop worrying, I'm not a kid anymore. I don't need you to baby me. Oh, really? Well, okay then, go wherever you want. See if I care. Fine, I will. Precious. Do what you like, I don't care anymore. Oh, yikes. That escalated quickly. Well, shit. I guess we gotta wait another day? 